Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about inhibit circuits. We have seen several circuit, several gates like uh, basic gates. Basic gates we have seen in the previous videos. Next, universal gates we have seen. Universal gates we have seen, and we have also seen exclusive gates. Exclusive gates. Basic gates, nothing but AND gate, OR gate, NOT gate. These three gates are known as basic gates. Those three we have seen in the previous videos. Followed by universal gates. Universal gates. So universal gates are nothing but NAND gate, NOR gate. These two also we have seen. Why these two are universal gates? Why these three are basic gates? Basic gates are used to construct any type of logic circuit. If you name the logic circuit that we can construct using this and or are invert. But if you take universal gates, any type of logic design or logic gate can be constructed using this particular NAND and as well as NOR. Suppose if you want to design AND operation using NAND gate that we can design. If you want to design XOR operation using NAND gate, you can design. So any type of logic gate can be obtained using these two NAND gate and NOR gate. That's why these are universal gates of course. And next one, exclusive gates. Exclusive gates are nothing but XOR gate and as well as XNOR gate. These are exclusively used for some parity checking like uh, error detection and correction purpose. We are using XOR and XNOR operations. Okay, whenever odd number of ones are there in the input output is 1 for XR gate and output is 0 for XR gate. These two are complemented to each other. Okay, Th this is what we have seen so far. Using these particular total how many? 437. Total 7 gates. Total 7 gates can be used. Okay, can be used as inhibit circuits. Inhibit circuits means when whenever one of the inputs has one of the inputs is fixed to either logic 0 or logic 1 then the output can be a controlled one then the output can be a controlled one so the in, in the matter of inhibit circuits the meaning of inhibit circuits is when one of the inputs is and one of the inputs is uh, fixed then we can control the output by using other input when one of the inputs of a gate is fixed fixed means either logic 0 or logic 1 we can control the output based on other input based on other input. So one input we are giving to the input which you want to change, other input can be used to change the output. Okay, let us see one by one what do you mean by uh, and uh, one more thing is this can be used in two different ways. Uh, inhibit operation can be done in two ways in two ways one is enable another one is inhibit circuits inhibit circuits okay that means when one of the inputs is connected to a fixed input then it is acting like an enable okay enable or disable the circuit where another one is inhibit circuit that changes the characteristics of other input okay let us first see the enable operation let us first see the enable operation so enable operation for and gate enable operation for and gate with input a which is a variable input another input b which is a fixed input that is fixed is, is equal to one here okay I am taking I am taking one AND gate with the two inputs. One input is fixed to logic one, another input is a variable. So that input I am taking it as a something like a pulse waveform. Or we can say a 
square wave form okay so which is having continuously changing 1010 or you can say more generally call it as a clock signal okay when i am giving this type of clock signal see when an in and gate input is fixed with one input as one then one one output is one one zero output is zero one one again output is one one zero output is zero what happens can we expect the same output at the out can we expect the same out uh, input as output yes so output is nothing but a output is equal to a okay one zero one zero one zero continuously it will come however we are having the other input the same will be the output this is enable case okay now consider the same with zero okay take and gate take and gate make one input with the same input as i have taken in the previous case and the other input is making to zero other input is zero then what happens whenever and gate input is fixed to zero irrespective of other input output is zero irrespective of other input output is zero because a into b a into b so zero into zero output zero but one into zero is also zero there is no chance of getting one one because one input is fixed to one zero so it changes the complete input to zero okay in this type of circuit operation is inhibit operation inhibit operation in inhibit operation we will get output as either 0 or 1 remember in inhibit operation we will get output as either 0 or 1 but whereas in enable condition we are making the circuit enabled and output will be equal to the one of the inputs or it may be the complement of that one okay and consider another case again okay i am taking enable on the left hand side and inhibit on the right hand side to compare easily now take nand gate take a nand gate nand gate what i am taking now so i am taking one input a variable input one input a variable input nothing but a clock signal and other input i am taking it as a logic one other input i am taking it as a logic one see what happens what happens when see one it is one zero one zero like that so one one output is zero one zero output is one 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 output is zero see what happens simply it inverts the input okay it is one see here it is zero it is one again it is zero one one nand gate what is the output zero one zero what is the output one 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 again zero one zero output one so what happens simply it complements the other input simply it complements the other input so we can say y is equal to a bar y is equal to a bar so simply what happens it complements the input okay do the same with zero input in inhibit do the same b is equal to zero and it is a so b is equal to zero see now what happens when nand gate input is equal to zero output is continuously one output is always one when all the inputs of nand gate is one then output is equal to zero but there is no chance of getting the other input to be one because it is fixed so that's why output y is equal to one here always okay this is first case this is second case and now let us see the third one where R gate is there okay for this R gate I am taking one input as fixed B is equal to 0 and the other input is a clock signal 
other input is a clock signal which is having a variable input like 1 0 1 0 like that we are having okay here it is 0 1 0 1 now for this R gate what happens when input is equal to 0 when one input is equal to 0 for R gate other input if it is 0 output is 0 if it is 1 output is equal to 1 so what happens it follows the same in other input so it is simply 0 1 1 0 1 0 like that whatever we are giving at the input uh, a the same will be the output and coming to the same R gate operation when input is fixed one input is fixed to 1 See, here I am giving 1010 A1010 like that and B is fixed to 1. So what happens when B is fixed to 1? When R gate input is 1, when R gate, one of the inputs of R gate is 1, output is always 1. Okay, for 10 output is 1, for 01 output is 1, for 11 output is 1. There is no uh, chance of getting 0 0 only for 0 0 combination the output is 0 but there is no chance of getting that case because one is one input is fixed that's why output is always 1 okay and let us see another case which is the last case fourth one consider a NOR gate a NOR gate in NOR gate I am taking one input fixed as b is equal to 0 and other input as 1010 0, 1, 0, like that we are having 1010 now what is the output when when nor gate input is 0 1 input is 0 0 1 output is 0 0 0 output is 1 0 1 output is 0 so simply it is the complement of other input it is the complement of other input so 1 uh, sorry 0 1 0 1 do the same for inhibit operation by taking one of the inputs one of the inputs as fixed to logic 1 and other input is a variable 1 0 1 0 so what happens now here y is equal to c 1 1 output is 0 1 0 output is 0 1 1 output is 0 everything for all the combinations output is 0 output is 0 because if any one of the inputs is 1 then output is equal to 0 for for nor operation okay so there will be many situations in a digital circuit design where the passage of the logic symbol where the passes of this logic symbol either enabled or inhibited depending on the conditions present at one or more control inputs depends uh, depends on control inputs present at the gates okay so there will be there will be many situations in digital circuit design digital circuit design where the passage of a passage of a logic symbol is either enabled or inhibited depending on depending on the conditions depending on the conditions present at one or more control inputs one or more control inputs okay this is about inhibit circuits thank you